Madness is those place. So it's another another blind tonight to see who's going to go on towards the uh, March Madness bracket that I'll have eventually. So tonight we're doing. Uh, so I was going to say we're going to do stuff by the Buffalo Trace Distillery, uh, but I found that I have to kind of broaden it out and just say under the Sazerac umbrella. So you know, here's the uh, contenders. Go ahead and check this out. And here's our contenders for this round. Ancient Ancient Age, Ten Star, Early Times, Bottle and Bond, Sazerac Rye, Traveler Whiskey, Weller Special Reserve, Buffalo Trace, Weller Antique 107, Blanton Strict, oh, not straight from the barrel, Blanton Single Barrel, and Eagle Rare Ten Year. That's who we're sipping tonight. Um, don't worry, I'm not drinking all of this. That seems like it would be dangerous. Whatever I don't drink after I come up with uh, my order goes in the infinity bottle. So we're just gonna start here, see what happens. I wonder if a bunch of these are gonna kind of smell the same since it's a... Uh... There's some similarities, even though there's different mash bills and stuff here, there seems to be some similarities. The Buffalo Trace Distillate. And I'm getting cherries and vanillas on this. I don't have anything to write on. We'll go, with, we'll go with the shim. It's a wood shop, there's a shim handy. We're gonna go from one to nine. I said I wouldn't do a 10 pour, so we got to nine. Unfortunately, I ran out of Buffalo Trace or Sazerac. All right, so one on the nose, cherry, vanilla. Ooh, it's gonna be hard to read that. And the proofs are gonna be all over the place too. Got a bit of cherry on the palate with that. Tiniest of hug. If I had to guess on this one. This might be the Traveler. Chris Stapleton. So I'm gonna guess the Traveler. And I can't, I'm gonna have a hard time reading that. Let's see a puzzle. There's a pen. Pen will be better than smart. And I might have to get several shims. Let's start the notes over again. One, cherry and vanilla. This isn't, this isn't working well either. So we're gonna... All right. We found our notebook finally. Cherry vanilla. It's kind of all I'm getting. I kind of think it's the Traveler, which means my guess is 90 proof. All right, it gets pushed out front simply because that's the first thing I've tried. Now there are some minor color differences between these ones, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Okay, it's got a better nose on it. Similar cherry vanilla. There's something else in there though. There's some caramel in there. Oop, I just glanced at it. Don't, brain, don't, don't do it. Shoot, I know which one that one is. I glanced at the letter, I shouldn't have done it. Well, in that case, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Yeah, good. All right, don't look at the letters, you know. Whoa, that's interesting. I think that's the ancient, ancient age. And I guess that because I want to say this is a sour mash. Genuine sour mash. Oof, and it is sour. So like, it's not, not quite sour. It's like, it's almost like it's got peat in it. Like a little bit of peat, a little bit of smoke, like a scotch, but it's not a scotch. And I mean, I'm looking at this lineup. That's gonna be that. I know what other people do with this. I don't know if they put it in cocktails, because I think it's terrible. So, Smoky Pete. I think it's I think it's the ancient, ancient age. I think rough. Oops. All right, so we'll pull this way back <laughs> for now. And then we're back into some very familiar territory here. So I'm getting vanilla. And like a little bit of light toasting going on.
got some oak on the palate. So I got the vanilla, I got a little bit of toasted smell on the, on the nose. I think a lot of these are in the 90 proof range, so I don't think proof guessing is going to do much on this flight. And I looked at it. Here we go again! Gotta stop looking at it. Uh, can I do this? I'm gonna keep my eyes on you somehow. Alright, here's our new number three. I like to smell that. Maybe that'll help. I'll just keep my eye on the camera. Keep my eye on the camera and my notebook. Excuse me. What do we got here? Where I keep my eyes closed except for when I'm looking at the camera. I mean, except for except for that ancient age, all these have smelled similar so far. It's not super surprising. So mostly vanilla, a little bit of cloves, hint of cinnamon. It's just a hair spicier on the nose, on the palate rather. And um, the spice note I get is what I've gotten on Sazerac Rye in the past. So I'm thinking this is the rye. That's the proof on the rye. 90 proof. I'm just going to double check proof real quick. That's 90 proof. The Eagle Rare is 90 proof. The Weller is 90 proof. Pretty sure the Buffalo Trace is 90 proof. 90 proof. Early Times Bottle of Bottle. That's 100. So when we hit that one, that'll be a little bigger. Ancient Ancient Age is 90 proof. I know that's 90 proof. I think the Blanton's is at 93. 93 proof. Uh, this will be the heater, this one at 107. So everything else is kind of, everything else is 90 or 93. Then we've got the bottle of bond at 100 and the antique at 107. Yeah, vanilla cloves. To be honest, this one just feels a little hotter, but I'm 99% sure it's not the antique. It's got quite a hug, so my guess would be the early times. That's going to be out here with this one. This one has, like, the cherry vanilla, but then, like, the hint of the smell of if someone just, like, burned their tires out in the parking lot. Which ain't happening because it's winter. It's wet out there. It's a little warmer today. It's in the 40s. Okay, that, that, that burnt rubber smell went away. That's more just like a normal toast now. So kind of vanilla, hint of caramel, a little bit of toasted. Almost, almost, and you can almost combine those and say like toasted marshmallow. Not a lot of, not a lot on the hood. The mouth is just a, uh, is the mouth is just tastes like burgundy. It's just, yeah, it's just bourbon. It's not giving me any specific notes. Um, so because of that, that's kind of back here. All right, let's see what's next. Dang it, nope. I glanced, I glanced. Oh, got to stop doing that. I'm going to look at you while I rotate these around so that way I'll forget what's going on over here. Yep. All right, I don't know where anything is anymore. Mmm, that's neat. Getting just a little hint of mint. Like not like a mint chocolate chip, like a like something somewhere in between a spearmint and a wintergreen. Oh, well, that's kind of fun. I don't know. I don't know what could be doing that. This is my fourth one. I forgot to write notes on my fourth one. I don't remember. There were some cloves involved, I remember that. It was like vanilla and like toast and cloves. And uh, was that the one I thought was Sazerac? A little bit of spice. A little bit of spice. So that's what I was thinking was Sazerac. So that's number four, but I'm on five now. So anyway, back to the notes. Five. Most of these have a nice, nice smell. I mean, I'd, I'd 
if you can find them, I'd probably recommend all these. Like, I wouldn't pay more than 100 for Blanton's, personally. I wouldn't pay more than... I really like Eagle Rare. Probably shouldn't pay 80, but I'd pay 80 for it. Probably should be more like a 60. Uh, but this is dirt cheap. That's 24. Buffalo Trace. This, the, the regular size is 27. Good stuff. so similar to each other it's almost hard to to differentiate them and put them in a place the only standout one was kind of not fun i should get some water so i can cleanse my palate if i need um i'm actually gonna guess i actually have a feeling this is the blends the way it's tasting the smelling Because, like, yeah, I'm getting, so I'm getting that hint of mint in there. Hint of mint. But then there's also that little bit of vanilla. And then there's something on the palate. Let me hit that one more time. But it's kind of just, I'm not pulling out anything specific. It's kind of, it's kind of just, it's kind of just a spurbit. Put that there. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's Blanton's. We're gonna put that there. We'll go back. I'm gonna go back. These are just like my initial placements, and then I'll time lapse it like I've done on other blinds. And then, uh, all right, we're up to six, two thirds of the way through this. That's got a that's got a fun little hit in the nose. Gotta, gotta look at the camera before I gotta close my eyes. I don't want to see. I'm getting like cherry vanilla again, just like on a lot of this stuff. I do like that though. Mm. That's nice. So that's interesting. I got, I got the, I got the somewhere between spearmint and wintergreen that I did on the last class, but in this glass, I got it on the palate, not on the nose. Yeah, I got no mint on the nose, but somehow I had mint on the, on the palate. I already guessed early times. If I have to throw a guess on it, I'm guessing this is Weller Special Reserve. And it's kind of kind of tied with the these three. I mean, this one so far was kind of out. This one's barely out farther. These two are kind of tied. Those two are back. All right, this next one's the darkest one. Shouldn't have said that out loud because I think well I've got an interesting smell because I think my brain knows which one the darkest one is but I'm gonna try to ignore it. I can't rotate that around because it's a color thing, not a placement thing. It smells stronger. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe my earlier guess of early times was wrong. This might be early times. Like that. does seem stronger. I'm, I'm thinking that maybe my guess on number three, that's got quite a hug. Let me pinpoint that nose. Nose is light maple, it's got some cloves. cloves comes through on the palate but other than that it's just kind of tasting like bourbon annoying so i don't know just based on the strength this might actually be the early times so i already guessed that though let's go let, i wasn't trying i was trying not to go back but let's go back real quick let's see what it smells like Could be the Weller Special Reserve, or no Weller Antique. You know what? I'm gonna say Weller Antique. 
I'm gonna say that number six was the early times. That's my guess. So it was pretty good. I'd put it like even with this. Uh, these three are kind of the same. That one's in front still. So let's see what we got. Oh, that's that. That's that weird note again. All right, so this is the one that I thought was the ancient age. It's got that same funky smell. But I'm not gonna look at the letter. I'm not gonna verify. It just, it just is reading sour to me. Oh boy, I managed not to spill, only a couple of drops. Um, it's just reading sour. Like it's like, it's like all, it's got all the normal notes you'd, you'd expect from a Buffalo Trace pot product, but then it's, it's like skewed somehow. So I'm not even putting my notes down, I'm just guessing the ancient, ancient age. And, did I guess that already? I did guess that already. Nuts, okay. It's probably not the ancient, ancient, ancient age. I'm throwing Green Weller on there, though. Okay, that's right. I forgot that that one was the fake smoky face feet pee. And as much as I like the Weller Antique, it's one of my favorites. Um, you'd think I'd like the Weller Reserve, too. Not a favorite. I usually keep them just to give them out as presents. Um, I'll keep a couple around, give them out as presents to people. Because uh, they're not the easiest thing to come by, even though they're dirt cheap. So I think that might be the Weller Special Reserve. So let's see what number... Oh, we're... That was eight. How did I skip seven? Man! Well, I'm putting them in order. I'm not going to stress about it too much. So this must be eight. What did I miss? I don't know what I missed. Going back to this one, that was so nice. Alright, you know what? Let's just keep going through. When I time lapse it, I'm going to go through them all. Put them in a new order. Yes, whatever this is, it's nice. Oh, it's nice on the nose, it's pouring on the palate. That's interesting. On the nose, it's like, it's like grand characters in vanilla somehow. So that's kind of neat. So, I mean, I would put that maybe lined up with these ones here. All right, I missed something somehow. I'm going to throw it in time lapse for you. I'm going to taste them in a different order, um, make some new, make some more notes, and then I will see you back in regular time. Welcome back. So that went a lot quicker than uh, when I have a guest with me. Uh, there's no one to chat with, so it's kind of just like a lot of sipping and ranking. Uh, you might have noticed, I don't know if you could tell in the time lapse, um, some stuff has subtly changed. Uh, and this time I remember to leave them in their order, so that way I can actually tell you whether my uh, guesses or not were accurate. All right, so number one. Well, let's go uh, least was this number two. Smoky Pete, I'm guessing it's the ancient ancient age. It is D, I think it is. It is D, ancient, ancient age. This is dirt cheap. Um, I'm gonna look up online what other people use it for. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if it makes a good cocktail, but it is, in my opinion, not for sipping. <clears throat> All right, so next one would be this, C. And that's eight, did I have a guess? I guess Weller, C I think actually is the Traveler. And uh, and I shouldn't have done that because I, I made it, uh, oh, I didn't even mark it, but I remember because Chris Stapleton picked that out with someone from Buffalo Trace, so that's why I made that C. So coming in eighth place is uh, the Traveler, but I was wrong on my guess. Okay, next is this one. It's a G. It's number nine. I didn't have a guess for number nine, so let's see. Did I have anything funny? Um, that was the Weller. G, yep. So Weller's there right above the Traveler for me, and some people love this. I'm just not a fan of the green. Uh, the red I'll drink all day, but I'm just not as much of a fan of the green. All right, next is this one. Okay, and it, it was the darker one, and I mentioned that I suspected I my brain knew it. It's the early times, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and so that's where my numbering, something happened, my numbering went wrong. Um, but I, I did change from, I thought, 
actually thought this was the ancient, or I thought this was the early times at first, and then I changed it to this one. So, in, so what is that? 1976 plates is the early times. Next one is F, um, and that's one, two, three, four. I guess the Sazerac, actually, I think F is the uh, regular Buffalo Trace. Can't see it, there it is, yep. So F is the regular Buffalo Trace. Okay, next is this one. Okay, it's a J, okay. Um, figure out a better system for doing this. All right, I may have forgot to mark that, so let's hold on that one. But that's the next one in line is gonna be here once we figure out what it is. All right, the next one was B. Oh, B was Blanton's. So Blanton's was that in third place? Second place was H, and I think that's Evil Rare. H was the Evil Rare. First place for me. Oh man, I should really learn how to write better. All right, so I got one that I can't see and one that I didn't mark. I think this is an A. It is an A. So actually, oh, so the antique. All right, so the Sazerac was in fourth place. Oh, so that's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. So this is probably, of these, I would say this is the most sought after barrel. And of course, these top three are hard, hardish to get. Um, this is, this was kind of like a one-off. It's not been getting good reviews. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't make any more. Um, are there any surprises in here? Honestly, no. Honestly, no, because the thing with Blanton's being a single barrel is I had one, the first bottle of Blanton's I got, I would I would put that above all of this. It was so good. Um, this bottle has been better, um, but even one time me and the father-in-law, we were we were sipping some of the, some, both of these in one evening at home, and hey, we commented how we like the Eagle Rare better, which was uh, which is interesting. Um, all right, so you know what? So out of the Sazerac line of um, of whiskeys and bourbons that I personally own here at Izzo's Place. Um, the Antique 107 is moving on to the bracket. Thanks for hanging out with me while I do this. If you're working, please work safely. If you're drinking whiskey, please drink responsibly. But do everything with a little bit of whimsy and you're gonna have a good time. I'll see you next time you're hanging out at Izzo's Place. Ancient, ancient age. I'm gonna have to find a cocktail for this. No, oh, it's got a plastic thing. I don't think I can pour it back. I don't want that in my infinity bottle. I probably did a neck pour of this. I'll probably have to do a long review eventually. The rest of these weren't bad. Uh, you know what? The traveler. I'm gonna pour the traveler back. in the infinity bottle. Hmm, I take that back. Gee, it was a Sazerac. Sazerac will, eh, Sazerac can go back in. Go rare, go back in. Blanton's can go in the infinity bottle. Get the low on that. 